Good evening, everyone. You're welcome to Table Turn, and I am your host, Daddy K. First of all, before we go further, I'm going to introduce some new things that has come on Table Turn. All right. First, I'm going to introduce the team. I want to say thank you very much to the team. In this platform, we have men and the women of God. In the platform, we have advocates and we have activists. And we have those who can help you in any kind of job that you are looking for if you are in the environment of Antwerp. And for those of you who have children at the age of 12 to 16 years that has difficulties in their education, we have people also who can help you with that. 12 to 16 years. If you have children who are having difficulties with their studies, because of language barriers, we have those people in the platform. All you ought to do is to call on the WhatsApp number plus three two four nine seven eight four zero three eight eight four. I repeat plus three two four nine seven eight four zero three eight eight Four. That is the WhatsApp number. And the like number is plus three two four six six two seven four seven seven five. I repeat plus three two four six six two seven four seven seven five. That is the like number. And our email is tableton at yahoo.com tableton at yahoo.com so i'm gonna introduce some new things although it's not new is what we have been doing but it is new to you guys tableton foundation tableton foundation for those of you who follow tableton on facebook you will see some of the photos that they are there. We are busy with children, most especially in education areas, widows, and those that are needy, who really needs it. We are there. On, you can find it on the platform. And we have our PayPal account as well. If the Lord touch your heart, if the Lord touch your heart to render us help, you can as well find the PayPal account and then you see. Tonight, I'm going to introduce, because Tableton has a sponsor. Tableton has someone who is willing to sponsor us and that is no other person than offer Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega, the shop is located at Bredaban. The shop is located at Bredaban 728 2170 Merksim. I repeat, Alpha and Omega, the shop is located at Bredaban 728 2170 Merksim. Antwerp in Belgium and if you want a decoration if you want decoration for your wedding any kind of party birthday party communion service we will be available to help you you have all the details on the platform you can contact me then I will tell you what to do at offer an Omega shop in 728 Bredaban in Merksim every Friday and Saturday they have Suya Sports. Every Friday and Saturday they have Suya Sports. You can as well go there and relax yourself to enjoy yourself there at Offer and Omega. Then they have also Western Union and Monogram. Western Union a monogram here is their card i can show it to you so in anything that you want if you want to send money to africa 
they are available for you anything you want they are there she is one of our sponsors okay for further information you can as well contact me and then we will get back to you in whatever you want to know about so alpha and omega like i said is located in Bredaban. alpha and omega is located in the Bredaban. so we can give you all the information that you need about wedding parties and so on and so forth there is a lot all right uh theophilus you're welcome miriam you're welcome please when you are watching us please indicate where you're watching us from like i said this platform has advocates it has advocates and have men of god activists and those of you who are looking for job close to antwerp we are here also to be able to help you just let us know ivy you welcome to table Town. good evening to you and god bless you all we're gonna go straight to the point tonight we have a topic that says my pastor knows he is married and he still wants me to remain in the relationship my pastor knows he is married he still wants me to remain in the relationship our opinion is needed in this issue none of us is righteous to judge anybody but our meanings are allowed to this so there is a church that three members are in the church three members are in the church and one of the lady is a choir mistress all right she's a choir leader and she's attending a church is a little bit um emotional uh emotional discussion tonight and also a sensitive one why i call it a sensitive one because pastors pastor is involved in this issue and what we want to know in this issue is the lady want to know if she is doing the right thing or not the lady herself want to know if she is doing the right thing or not the one who is the victim want to know if she is doing the right thing all right okay so this lady she she is a choir leader all right she is a choir leader and she is married she has five kids with her husband and for some time their sexual life is not going according to plan according to plan in the sense that anytime she touched her husband her husband is always tired you all know what i mean so we are all matured people in the platform the husband is always tired and she was like trying to find out what is making the husband to be tired but she couldn't figure it out but she just believed that the husband is just being tired because maybe from work or other things so but a mistake was done by the man all right mistake was done by the man and then the man mistakenly drop his phone with his kids to play okay mistakenly drop his phones with the children for the children to play with while the children were playing with the phone somebody who is in the same church with her with the married woman they attend the same church and this lady find a sexual message from the other lady to her husband and she was like what's going on am i making a mistake is this not my sister my sister in christ my sister in the lord what is going on 
So she tried as much as possible to say probably she is dreaming about what is going on. And she took the phone and went deeper to the message and she find some messages that she's not supposed to find her in the message. And then she confronted her husband and said, this is what I found. And after confronting her husband and she went to the church and confronted a sister in the Lord. And then she confronted her sister in the Lord. You all know, as a woman, when you find a thing like that, your heart will be broken. First of all, you'll be confused. Most especially when it's to those that you trust the most that betray your trust. So she was so angry and she got mad. And she did everything she could. And also she went on to make sure that she disgraced her husband. She disgraced her husband because she was so hot. She was angry. She was pissed and said, if at all you have to do such thing, not in the church that we are in. So she made a lot of problem about that. She fight. She quarreled. And for a very long time, she quarreled with the husband. Okay. And they both parted their own ways. She and her husband, they part their ways. And she is left alone with the children. She is left alone with the children because she cannot bear it. So the reason why this story come to table 10 is she is still in the church. She is still going to the church. So she wants to know if she is doing the right thing. She wants to know if she is doing the right thing a marriage is kaput and she is still going to the church she is still going to the church and as for the other lady that is dating a husband the pastor knows that the man is married and the pastor knows that they are Team and he still want the girl in question to be in this relationship. Like I said, we are not here to judge anybody, but our opinions are needed. And how can we bring these people back together? How can we bring them back together? And how can we solve the problem? That is the issue on the table. So I leave it to you guys to bring your own opinion on, on the issue tonight. Don't forget, she is the choir leader. And she came in with her husband into the church. And a marriage is broken inside the church she became single inside the church and she's still in the church so she wants to know if she's doing the right thing so i leave the issue for you guys to decide for those of you who want to call the whatsapp number is on the screen and the like and number is on the screen and if you know that you cannot call you can as well type and I will read out I will read out what you have written. So that is the reason why this issue came to this platform. She wants to know if she's doing the right thing. Thank you very much viewers 
I am with him for your meaning and for your opinion. All right. I will be playing the music while we are waiting. It has to be good. Sure. Original piece. Take one. Action. Action. So I'm waiting for you guys. You can as well type in or call in. it is a difficult one I know that my sister it is really difficult because it is difficult because a man of God is involved and she is a worker in the house of God and the one who betray her also is a worker in the house of God so how do we handle such issues and how do we trust? How do we our husband is not attending the church? Someone is asking a question if her husband is still attending the church. No, the husband is not attending the church, it's only the wife that is attending the church. It is only the wife that is attending the church. So like, as I was saying, there is a pastor involved. There is a leader involved. And there is also a worker involved. So how do we go about the issue? How do we go about it? So I'm going to leave this for you guys to bring your own opinion. Because it is an interesting issue. Gift, good evening to you. You're welcome to Table Turn. So, indeed, it is a difficult issue. And it is three important roles. And it is the house of God that all these things is happening. And she wants to know if she is doing the right thing by still being in the church. She came into the church with a husband. She is still in the church without a husband. And she is left alone with five kids. And the other one who take her husband away from her in the church they still want her to be in that relationship. It is difficult. I know that is why they brought it to us. It's sensitive and we're going to have ask for the wisdom of God so that we can be able to discuss this gently. Okay. Yes, the husband left the church because the wife humiliated him and the wife is still in the church. I'm reading, yes. Uh, 
the husband is not going to honor the church at the moment. The husband is not going to honor the church at the moment. The husband is not going to another church at the moment. The husband is in separation with his wife. So he's kind of lost at the moment. So as for church, he's not going to church at the moment. So I'm answering all you guys' questions. I know you guys want to know a lot about it it is a difficult and sensitive issue as well so the lady which is the wife wants to know if she's doing the right thing still being in the church because she said she is serving a god and she's not serving man so, and I also want to know from you guys if indeed she's doing the right thing because I have my own opinion. But first of all, I would love to hear from you guys. Like, keep the question rolling. I'm going to answer them. And please, our opinion are needed. How are we going to get this family together? Because this is what Table Turn is all about. We try to get the family together if we can. But the greatest one who can save any marriage is God. We can give our own opinion, but he has the final say on every situation. Every situation that comes to the platform, he, the Lord has the final say. So, please, I want you guys to keep the question rolling. And also, if you want to call, you can call in on the WhatsApp number or you can call in on the Leica number. We are all is. So, indeed, it is a difficult one. It is a difficult one. We are not judging anybody. We are here to learn. And we are here also to find out where we as an individual how we make mistakes how we make mistakes i have my own opinion in this and i'm gonna lay back with my own opinion first let me listen to you that is the audience and you tell us what it is that you think and then I can say mine is not about me. It's about the situation. Okay. The husband is not attending the church. Indeed, it is difficult. So, all right. And if you are on the platform, please indicate where you're watching us from. And the topic of tonight, let me repeat it. My husband, my pastor, no, he is married and he still wants me to remain in the relationship. My pastor knows he is married and he still wants me to remain in the relationship. So this is a guy. Should we say the man is a victim? Or should we say the woman is the victim? So, guys, I'm waiting. Uh -huh. Someone, someone is sending a message here saying, indeed, this is a difficult case. Most especially, it has to do with the church 
the place you supposed to find peace okay that is where you now go to inquire problems as for me my own meaning is the lady shouldn't be in the church at all the lady should not be in the church at all she would have just left with her husband. Thank you. God bless you. That is his own opinion. So guys, I am waiting for your opinion. You can as well type in. You can as well call on the WhatsApp number. And the WhatsApp number is zero four nine seven eight zero four nine seven eight four zero three eight eight four and the lika is plus three two four six six two seven four seven seven five jennifer anthony good evening to you you're welcome to table turn how was your day i hope you are doing good all right so i am waiting for the whatsapp call or the like i call anyone for your own opinion your opinion are needed she wants to know if she is doing the right thing she wants to know if she is doing the right thing and let me use this opportunity again to tell you that table 10 has have a new birth Tableton Foundation. Tableton Foundation. Tableton Foundation is on board. Tableton Foundation is on board. Kardashian Godmother. Tableton Foundation is on board. Okay. Tableton Foundation. We try to reach out to kids who need education and readers. So that has been born table 10 all right i'm gonna read from what linda is saying she said i will say for the lady to forget about her husband and pursue god and pray that god gives her another husband she is saying she will pray okay she is saying I will say that's her own meaning, right? I will say that the lady to forget about her husband and pursue God and pray that God give her another husband. But for her to stay in the same church as when the man of God knows that this husband is dating another woman and, and he is saying nothing about it means the man of god hmm that is a question mark on him that is just the truth god bless you for your boldness i love that i love women of integrity women who have powers who are not scared to speak i love that keep it up and god bless you for you to Underline it that he is not saying anything about it. And there is a question mark on him. Mm -hmm. There is a question mark on him. There is a question mark on him. All right, guys. Keep it rolling. And I will read it. Keep it rolling and I will read it. I will read it and I will read it again and again i love this part that linda just said he said the woman for her to still remain in the church and the man of god knows her husband is dating another woman let me add my to it in the same church and he's not saying anything about it that means the man of God 
Hmm. There is a question mark. So I have to pick this. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello, good evening. Can you tell us where you're calling from and tell us your name, please? My name is Benjamin. I'm calling from Germany. All right, we're listening to you, sir. Yeah, I I have kind of a question to ask. Okay. Uh, it's because we know in our black churches, things like this happen with the document stuff. The lady in, in question who slept with another woman's husband, mm -hmm. is she looking for a document? Or that's why the pastor is quiet, not saying anything. This I just want to know because no, she, be she's, she's not, not saying anything. She's not looking for a document. And the man in question is the is the lady that gives him a document. The husband to the to the the choir leader. Yes. She is the one that gave her husband the uh, permit to stay in Europe. Yes. The document. Yes. So called. Yes. Okay. And now they are no more together because of this incident. Yes, they are separated. They're separated. Okay, this is is very interesting. It's very interesting. For me, you know, this uh, there are things we don't really understand when these pastors, when you want to confront them in such things. Other pastor will come in and say, "Don't forget." Touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. They always use these words to convince us. But at times, let's call spade a spade. Mm -hmm. If that pastor is aware and he's not saying anything, like that, like the message from that uh, dear sister you read, yes. it's a question mark. And this should be a capital question mark. This is not just question mark. I find it funny too. That's why I ask that question. So I... Number two, the pastor himself, I don't really know what to say, so let me leave the pastor aside. But the pastor should know what to do. I don't know, maybe they are related or he don't want to lose his member. That's why he don't want to say anything. We don't know. Sure. So, this like the our viewers has been writing. This is very difficult to contribute. This is the truth. <laughs> it's very difficult. It should let me <laughs> let me let other people to share their own opinion. Because for me, if if the way you read this story is true, I'm holding the pastor responsible first. Okay. If the story is true, for me, I'm holding the pastor, the pastor responsible work. first because mm -hmm. he cannot hold his sheep to, together because he should have called the husband, called the wife and go in and talk to them. Mm -hmm. Talk to them, go to their house, visit them, let them sit down and address this issue. If we say all things have passed away, then we should like be like, my dear, this thing has happened. Even the man should talk to his wife. Sorry, I have messed up. I have done what is not right on the sight of God. So let me see if we can make amend. Not just pack your things and leave the house. Like, just like that. And the lady is still attending that same church. I find <laughs> it very, it's very funny. And strange. It's very yeah. funny. If you want to say, because I'm serving a living God, I don't want, I don't want to lose my faith. There are other churches you can go. Okay. And the and the the other girl in question still attend the same church with her. Yes. They will be seeing each other and be the, the time they will sing old oh, somebody tell him that you love him. They will be looking at each other, touching each other. I I, I really don't know what to say, but this is my contribution. But I I still hold that pastor. He has a lot to say or a lot to tell. In this in this matter, he has a lot to contribute as well. Thank so, you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Keep yeah. it up. Thank you're doing you. Doing a good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. Bless you. All right. All right. 
So this is really, really, really difficult. And I just want us to keep it rolling. My pastor know he is married and he still wants me to remain in the relationship. Like the question being asked, is he, is he because the lady, she's looking for a document? Is that why the pastor is allowing her to stay in the relationship? Or is because maybe they are related? Who knows? Or maybe he doesn't want to lose a member. These are questions that have been asked. So, in addition to that question that has been asked, or will I say, is it because, or if it's because she is looking for a document, should a pastor not say it the way it is? Should a pastor not rebuke someone when the person is doing wrong? Because when you rebuke someone, does not mean that you don't love the person. When you rebuke someone, it is because you care. It is because you love the person. That is why you are rebuking that person. This is happening in church. And I believe that this is not the only church that this kind of thing is happening. But we are all trying our best. Sometimes some certain things happen and we say we are doing it for God because I am serving God. Because I am serving God, so I am doing it for God. If she is really doing it for God, then I believe that she should not be separated from a husband. If she is really doing it for God, she should not be separated from her husband. Nobody is above mistake. And she only saw a text message. She didn't know what transpired between her husband and the lady in question that led to sexual or sexual relationship or sexual fling. Let me just call it that way. She didn't know what get there. But I understand her point as well. She's being angry because she didn't expect that. And, and I also believe that it is a big problem. I don't want to say anything yet. I just want you guys to bring in your contribution on this issue. It is difficult. But we cannot stay out of the truth. And most of us on the platform are not saying anything because it consigns a pastor. When a pastor is wrong, we have the right to rebuke their character. Okay? That does not make him less or that does not make him not to be a pastor. When a pastor is wrong, you the leaders... You have the right to call him in order to say, Sir, despite of us being an hypocrite or saying, Ma, this is where you are wrong and this is how it's supposed to be. And if it happens that that pastor have a spiritual father, then you go to a spiritual father or a spiritual mentor or a spiritual mother or whoever that that person introduced to you as a member to say, this is my spiritual parents or this is my mentor or, or, or which other words I have to say or Godfather or whatever we can call it and say, these are the people I look up to in my spiritual level. Then you as a member, now, I, I don't mean on I don't mean on necessary things like issues like this. You gather yourself as a leader and you go to your pastor, your pastor, spiritual fathers. You have the right 
to report and say in a very good way, not in an aggressive way, in a very nice way to say, my spiritual father is wrong or this is what is going on. I don't know if there is any way you could talk to him. If there is any way you could talk to him that this at the point that you think he is lacking, that is not a sin. It is because you want the ministry to be in a better position. That is why you are saying such. Not because you hate your pastor or not because you hate your spiritual mama. Sometimes when they do things wrong, you let them know. Most of us, we keep quiet. And when we keep quiet, it eats us up and we get exploded. And they say you're being rebellious. That is the right word to use. They say you're being rebellious. Why? Because you've concealed all inside and now you cannot hold it anymore. Excuse me, there's an incoming call. Hello? Hello, good evening. Can you tell us where you're calling, I'm calling from? from UK. All right, good evening, ma. We're listening to you. How are you? How's the family? I'm fine. We're doing great. God bless you. Wow. All the calls are coming Amen. in. Uh, we want to say, may God continue to strengthen you. Amen. And strengthen those who support you. Amen. In this race, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Um, this is a, a thing that we have to, like how we deal with all the other ones, we pray that God will give us wisdom also to Amen. deal with this one. Amen. Because it's not an easy thing for the lady to go through it. Yes. Wise, in the first place first, wise, you know that your spiritual father is supposed to be there to help you, counsel you, support you. In what you're going Hold through. on, Mama. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Please. Hold on. Hello? There is an incoming call. Sorry. I wanted to tell the person that I will call her back. Okay, sir. Um, Ma, you can speak. Sorry. Okay. So, what I'm saying that is a difficult time for the lady now. Yes. To go through what she's going through because she's alone. Yes. And expecting that the spiritual father will be there for her to support her, knowing that the same spiritual father is stabbing her also in the back. Mm -hmm. So I would say first, I will start to deal first with the spiritual father. I will not call that, I'm not judging, but I'm just saying the truth. I will yes. not call that a pastor. Okay. Because any man of God who studied the word of God, who called by God, mm -hmm. will have the fear of God to do what he is doing to this lady. Mm -hmm. Let's say if, if, if one of the daughter of that man of God is in the shoes of that lady, how is that man of God going to deal with that? Knowing that his own daughter, his pastor is treating her this way. Mm -hmm. How is that man of God going to deal with those kind of things? Mm -hmm. So for that man of God to allow this lady to go through it is a big shame. It's a big shame. And these are the men of God don't allow people to even accept Christ because of what they are doing. Mm -hmm. They are the one who is poisoning the, the heart of the people. Because oh, somebody yes. can say, if a man of God can do this, to his own member. <laughs> me, don't, me that I don't know Christ. Mm -hmm. Can I even come to Christ? Because they are expecting him much from the men of God. Yes. Because they're supposed to be there. They're supposed to teach us. They're supposed to encourage us. They're supposed to lead us. But not to bring us down. Mm -hmm. So what that man of God did is wrong. Mm-hmm. It's really wrong. He's supposed to rebuke the lady who is dating his his choir his choir master's husband. He's, that pastor needs to rebuke that church member. Mm -hmm. But I know I will believe that it's because it's 
sometimes some pastors, when people support them in their ministry, or maybe the pastor is dating also the lady. Wow. It's maybe because of either the pastor is dating the lady, or the lady is supporting in the ministry so much that the man of God don't have mind to rebuke the lady. Mm -hmm. Because some men of God, they are like that. When you give them too much of money, they are afraid to lose you. They are afraid to tell you the truth because they know that it's your income that supports the church or supports his household. True. So they don't have mind to even rebuke you or neither telling you the truth. True. And that lady, for me, I will advise you, please, my lady, don't leave your husband because you have suffered so much. Mm -hmm. You have suffered so much with that man. Don't allow this one mistake to make you leave your husband. You have five kids for that husband. Mm -hmm. For that man. You have five kids. Mm -hmm. You are a choir master. And one thing also you know. Jesus said, as long as you accept me. Mm -hmm. He said the world will cost you. The world we spit at you. The world we throw at you because of why you accept me. Mm -hmm. So because of you accept Christ, because of you are leading the people of God into the throne of grace, my dear, you have to expect a lot from the enemy. Mm -hmm. You have to expect a lot. This is the time that, you know, Africa, we take our rapper and tie it so hard that mm -hmm. my child will not fall on the ground. Mm -hmm. So this is a time to take your wrapper. If you wear trousers, take belt and tie your trousers so it won't fall down. And start, yeah. raise a fight against the enemy. Say, this is my husband. You don't know where we meet. We have stand and have five kids. I will not let go of my husband. Who are you to come and take my husband away from me? True. And the second thing, my lady, leave that church. Because that man of God is not a genuine man of God. Me, I will say it. It's not a genuine man of God. <laughs> it's not a right man of God. Because that's not a place that you should be. Because the kind of gift that you have, take it to a place where the people appreciate you. Likewise, God appreciates you for what you're doing. True. So my advice to that lady, please don't leave your husband. Okay. Fight for him. Just mm -hmm. like how you and you hear that your children are doing something that is bad you will not leave them you will fight for your children you will go on your knees and pray True. because that's what a mother is supposed to do that's what a, sometimes we the women we forget we only pay attention on ourselves and our children we forget to pray for our husbands mm -hmm. we forgot to go on our knees for our husband and one thing we should realize as long as we accept Christ. We are accepting Christ. Mm -hmm. It's another thing. But as long as you're doing something in the kingdom of God that is so meaningful in the house of God, the enemy will always fight against you. Mm -hmm. You should not forget about that. True. So when the enemy turns to you, he knows that he cannot get to you. He will go to your husband or your children. <laughs> but if you stand and pray, my mm -hmm. idea, I won't say they will, he won't get to, but God will deliver you from it. Amen. He said he will neither leave us or neither forsake us. Amen. He will always be there for us. Amen. So my support to this lady, please don't let go of your husband. Amen. Hold on to him. Amen. And go on your knees and cry to God. And see what God will do for you. And change your church because that's not a church. That's a, that's a, I don't know how I should call it. Amen. That's not a place for you to worship. Any pastor who can tolerate fornication, adultery in the church, knowing that these people, your choir master is going through this and you are supporting the, the lady who is, who is dating your husband, supporting that lady. Either the pastor is in love with the lady or is they are, they are related or the lady is supporting in the ministry so much that the pastor don't want to lose that lady. Mm -hmm. That's why the pastor don't have mind to talk to that lady. Mm -hmm. So for you to keep your husband and keep your family, go away from the church. If it causes you to move um, state or, or whatsoever, or town, move, my dear. 
move, mm -hmm. save your family. Because today it's not easy to have a good one. Of when God not. has given you a good one, grab all of it, my sister. Sure. It's yours. <laughs> it's yours. Don't allow anybody to take him away from you. Sure. You have suffered with five kids. Mm -hmm. Don't let him go. Because if you let him go and he's gone, remember, unless that man passed away before you have right to get married, or he gets married before you, mm -hmm. before you have right to get married, and you are a Christian, you are a choir master, please grab all of him, oh, my dear. He's yours. Don't allow anybody to take him away from you. I know it's painful. It's difficult. But go on your knee. Only God can help you. Nobody else. Oh, yes. Oh, so, yes. Mama, that's my contribution to the lady. Thank Hold you on very to your much. husband. Fight for him. Thank you very Fight much, Fight for your ma. children. Your children need their father. They don't need other man. They don't need True. anybody. They need their father. And if another woman come into that marriage, take that man away. Do you know what your children will be going through if they go to their father's house? True. Do you know what they will be going through? Five kids. True. It's not easy. So my lady, please take care of your husband. Take care of your family. If you need to move, move for your family. True. Thank you, Mama. God bless you. God bless you too, ma. Good evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma. Okay. Thank you, yeah. ma. Bye. I'm I'm still Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, incoming call is coming. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm listening to you. Good evening, ma. How are you? Oh, oh my sister is still talking. Right? No, it's finished. It's finished. Listen. Oh, okay. God bless you. God bless, bless you. you. Bless you too, ma. Uh, um, what I want to say nowadays um, is that the difficult, the most difficult place that you can find the truth now is in the church. Can you repeat you that, saying, please? I'm, I'm saying um, a church is supposed to be like an hospital or or you are sick and you are going to your doctor to have medication to okay. diagnose. Okay. Okay. I'm listening. Hello. Okay. I'm hearing you from this other phone. Okay, then. Let me go ahead. Um, I, I was saying that um, the church is supposed to be a place where somebody is depressed, somebody is sick, somebody is going through one thing or the other, and when you get to the church, Mm -hmm. You must get your solution. You must get. Com you must find comfort. You must be encouraged. You know, people go to church for different reasons nowadays. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. People go to churches now for different with different assignments mm -hmm. and different agenda. Mm -hmm. So when you get to the church nowadays, you you must expect that you are going to meet with different people, different people with different intentions and different ag agenda. Mm -hmm. That is why we hear things like this now in the churches, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, that is where it is very hard now to hear the truth and to find the true truth and to accept the truth. Mm -hmm. The hardest place that we can hear the truth and accept the truth now has become the church. Okay. You can never say the truth again. Somebody will be offended or you will be offending somebody. Mm -hmm. Because I believe if the past, the pastor must be the last person to even know it. Most people must have heard about it or have seen it, but nobody might be saying anything. But who is to be blamed at the end of the day is the pastor that everybody will be blaming. That is why the pastor has to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Because if he is afraid to discipline one member, because maybe you don't want to lose that member, does the pastor knows how many members he might be losing or people that want to come to church that he will be losing because of that one person? Mm -hmm. If you have a whole basket of fish and one fish among that basket is spoiled, if you don't remove that one fish from the rest of the fish, all the fishes will get spoiled. True. Okay. Now, what am I, what am I going to say to this woman? I don't know what services she is rendering now to the church. She went there with her family mm -hmm. to the church. 
her husband and her children. Mm -hmm. Now she is there alone with the children. Her marriage is kaput. Mm -hmm. And uh, her husband has left her with the children. Mm -hmm. She went there with complete family. Now mm -hmm. the family has been divided. Mm -hmm. And she is still staying there, saying that she is starving. Because, oh, my sister, I don't know how you can starve with that kind of emotion, with that kind of feeling, with that kind of tension. I don't know which service she's rendering there now. Because the fact that the woman is still in the church and you are seeing the woman there and the pastor knows about what is going on and the pastor is not doing anything, I can imagine what will be going through your head and your mind when you are starving. Mm -hmm. We can't, you know, we, we have to stop pretending. We True. have to stop injuring ourselves. Yes. We have to stop hurting ourselves. True. Because somebody will love you, you have to love yourself first. You have to respect yourself first. You have to know your value. Mm. She can also go and start somewhere else. Yes. True. Because she can go somewhere else and serve with peace. She mm -hmm. will have peace of mind in serving. In another church, as long as she is not backsliding, mm -hmm. there is nothing wrong with that for her to leave that church where she cannot get justice. Mm -hmm. There is nothing wrong for her to advise her to leave that church if the pastor knows about it and other people, the leaders, they know about it. Mm -hmm. They cannot confront the pastor or the lady, the leaders are not coming together to discuss the issue and solve this issue and see how best they can bring the husband and the wife together. I would advise the woman to leave that church and go and serve somewhere else. She can still love God and serve God, you know? Yes. And secondly, secondly, I would advise her also not to leave her husband because she has a legal right. Mm -hmm. Their relationship they are married, and also they have children. Mm -hmm. So there is something that is binding her and the husband. The children are binding them. Mm -hmm. The marriage is also binding them. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the other mistress has nothing binding them together. So True. how can she leave her husband if, the, if only the man still wants her to stay in the marriage? She mm -hmm. has to try all her best to reconcile with her husband, forgive her husband, and go down on her knees. And you know, when you are married, it's another, another, another institute. That you yeah. have to, exactly, that you have <laughs> to be praying for your husband always because the temptation is so high. Of Sometimes course. it's not like they have the intention of doing it, but they have seed that they are looking for soil to plant, and if they see available soil to plant that seed. They make that soil available to them. If mm -hmm. care is not taken, they will just be going around sowing seed in different soils. Mm -hmm. So let her make her soil available for her husband at all times. And also go down on her knees and be praying for her husband. Mm -hmm. And she should let her try and forgive her husband and see how best they can resolve this issue. Leave mm -hmm. that place, leave that church, find another place of worship and go and serve there. Because there is no way she will tell me that she will be able to serve God in that same place where her family has been. I don't understand. I don't know. She should stop returning to herself and stop harming herself. Let her love herself and do herself a favor. Move to another place of worship. Serve there. Amen. That's my, just my little advice. Thank you very much, sister. God bless you. Thank you for the contribution. God bless you. Thank you very much. All right. Like you all have heard it. And please, you can still keep the call rolling while I read. I'm reading from Linda. She said, I believe as a man of God. I believe as a man of God, you ought to show an example to the church. You you are the head of the congregation. So when things are going on like this, that you need to stop it before it goes out of hand. I really wonder the type of prayer he prays for her in the church before the woman lose the husband in your presence. And you said nothing about it. As for me, I will not let the man of God pray for me again god bless you 
And then our brother Evangelist said, Foundation is everything, matters a lot. I believe it is the foundation that was not really built well, and then it has backfired. This is why such problem arise. Okay, that's what our brother is saying. And Kenneth Bayer, you're welcome to Table Turn. Okay, and Linda went on and says, this is why it is very important and good for you to pray and fast before you enter a relationship or a marriage. Someone that is something that I have learned and I have learned it that the hard way. Prayer is the key, my sister. Seek God first before you marry. All right. She's saying she should seek God first before she married. Like I said, we all have been contributing really nice to this. And I believe in this situation, most of us, we are kind of reserved. Reserving the sense that it is really emotional sensitive difficult issue the facts remains the same like as i was saying before the incoming call come in excuse me prayers is very very important indeed the bible said jesus started with prayer and he end up with praying as well when you are in a situation or in a church, first, we have to seek God when we are going into that church. And I said something that the person that your pastor introduced to you, that is your spiritual father, when there is an issue like this, what do you do? You pick one or two leaders. That's my own advice. Okay, You pick one or two leaders and say, okay, this is the spiritual father or spiritual mother that my pastor said is his spiritual parents. They mentored him. Let's put it that way. That th These are the people who mentored him. And when things like these are going astray, you call them and tell them, this is what your son is doing. This is the situation. Is there any way that you can talk to him? And what if this pastor don't have a spiritual mentor or don't have a mentor? And he just come out from somewhere and he says, you never see a spiritual father. You never even have telephone number to the spiritual fathers or anything. And then there's a situation. You just have to pick one or two leaders and then you just crack the bones. They are not going to like you. They are not going to love you. Because you're saying the truth, but the truth is worth dying for. The truth is worth dying for. Christ died for us. He died for what? For the truth. Because there's a true and one God. He died for us. So, when the pastor do wrong, my own advice you tell him, Pastor, this is where you're wrong. He's not going to like you. Everybody have a conscience. <laughs> Everyone has a conscience. When you go home or he goes home, his conscience will prick him on the questions you have asked him. Look at this young lady vibrant woman 
came into a church with her family. And now the pot is broken into pieces. And then you are there doing what? If I may ask, praising God, like you have heard, like everybody have said, you should go to another church. Like they have said that you should go to another church and you should try to stay with your husband. And then we'll see. We're not coming to conclusion yet on the issue. But I believe that you've heard a lot from this broadcast tonight. That the foundation has backfired. And um, you shouldn't be in that ministry. And that you should try to reconcile with your husband. Okay, yes. People make mistakes. People make mistakes. And even if she have to leave or before you leave the ministry, I will advise personally that you call his mentors if he has one to present to you anyway. If he has one to present to you, he should call his mentor or you should try as much as possible to call his mentor and then tell them what he did or what he knows about to hear the part of his own story so that they can talk to him. Like our sister who just called said, does he know how many members he is losing because he wants to protect one or because he's not saying anything because she is contributing to the ministry? Does he really know? You might live today. It might not be you. It might be somebody else. So the question is. Are you really happy? They said praise bring us God's glory down. Are you really happy? While you are praising God. Or are you just dead to get back at her? And if you are there because you want to get back at her, please, my sister, I am advising you, get your husband back to the house. Get him close to his children and start all over. Like I always say, Every man is a cheater, is the one that have cheated, that have done something wrong. Or the one that is caught is him that have done something wrong. So, I am begging you on behalf of him as well, that in the name of the God you save, try to find a place in your heart. To forgive him. And also try to call the leaders of the church. To talk to your pastor. And if the leaders are not doing their job as a leader. Take it to the higher one. Which is his spiritual. Or his mentor. Because I don't like to use that word spiritual father. His mentors. And you take it to them. And if they also are not responding, there is one that is supernatural. You go on your knees and you take it to God. And I believe, trust me, there is power in praying. When you pray, you will get the result. Okay. 
And guys, I'm not going to take much of our time tonight. Like I have said before, we're going to make it quick. And next week, we'll still continue with the same topic. My pastor know he is married and he still wants me to remain in the relationship. I believe a lot has been said tonight. And I believe she will take from it. I believe that as well. So I know that God is going to help her. God is going to strengthen her because it is not easy. And I admire her courage. Despite everything she said, I still believe I could serve God in this place. But every other rock that is not standing on the foundation of Christ Jesus is a sinking sand. And like our brother have said, that he thinks the foundation is wrong and is the foundation that is backfiring. Probably is the foundation that is backfiring. But we are not here to judge. We are here to give our own opinion. And I believe that you should walk with this until we meet again next week and a new part of it. And I just want to thank the team of Tableton. I want to say thank you. Tableton has given birth to a new baby and it's Tableton Foundation, where we are busy with children who need education and we are busy, busy with widows. If any way that you could help, you can find our PayPal on board. If the Lord touches your heart to bless us with what you think you can, it is not a force. You have to be willing to do it. So all the information you need is there on the platform. And also, I want to use this opportunity again to say, Offer an Omega Classic. Offer an Omega Classic. Located in the Brederban 728 Merxim Antwerp. She is one of our sponsors. Every Friday and Saturday, they have suya sports and they have tilapia fish and plantain and a lot of things there. Friday and Saturday. You can go there and enjoy yourself. After the lockdown, or even the lockdown still, you can go in there and just relax and enjoy yourself. And for those of you who need wedding decoration, and you need event planners, and also you need communion service decoration, and whatever, who knows? Maybe you need a mask wedding this period around that they say we need masks. Just contact me on the number on the WhatsApp and we will tell you. And also, for food for parties, you can as well contact us and we'll let you know. Cocktails, food for party, any kind of drinks you want, we'll tell you. And we go everywhere. We go everywhere, okay? Everywhere. Outside Belgium, inside Belgium, we are everywhere. And also, there's MoneyGram. And Western Union, MoneyGram and Western Union also. And I bless God for today. And I just want to use this opportunity to tell you all, thank you very much. And may God bless you for your contribution till we meet again next week. May God continue to bless you. And please stay safe. Okay, and don't forget to pray for your family and enjoy your week. And I'll see you next week. Bye. She's giving, telling her she got those lines she wanna hear.
Oh,